Welcome to a short video that will teach you how you can use the user session login feature in CA Control Minder. Forward Inc. is a global banking and brokerage firm. The firm has a complicated IT infrastructure to support all its services. They have implemented CA Control Minder to secure their IT environment. One of their key requirements is that they want to record all the actions performed by the root users on critical Unix endpoints. This will ensure that the Forward Inc. IT team can review these actions and identify the root cause of various application and security issues. Some of the key steps that Forward Inc. needs to perform to enable user session logging are 1. Customize the SEOS.ini parameters file to enable keyboard logger. 2. Use the ISSEC utility to verify that the keyboard logger daemon is running. 3. Identify the user you want to track and enable the interactive property for the user. 4. Review the kbl.audit log file to track user actions. Now that you understand how you can set up user session logging, let's view a practical example. On the Linux endpoint, let's navigate to the relevant folder and edit the seos.ini file. Navigate to KBL audit section of seos.ini file and ensure that the KBL underscore enabled section is set to yes. Then save your changes and close this file. In the next step, we need to check the status of the KBL audit manager daemon. To continue, click applications. To open the command line utility, click Accessories and then click Terminal. Now, let's navigate to the bin folder by using the following command. Then use the dot slash ISSEC command to check if the KBL Audit Manager daemon is running. Let us now open CA Control Minder Endpoint Management on the Windows machine. We need to log in to the Linux endpoint as a root user. We now need to enable keyboard logging for the root user in CA Control Minder. To continue, click Users. To modify the root user, enter root in the username text box and press go. Click the root user to modify the properties associated with it. We can enable keyboard logging for the user in the audit section. To continue, click audit. Let's now select the interactive checkbox. This will ensure that all the user's actions are tracked and saved in the KBL audit log file. To save the changes to the root user, click the Save button. Let's now log out of the CA Control Minder Endpoint Management. We will now open a PuTTY session and connect with the Linux server. We will perform a list of actions and then verify that the actions are recorded. To continue, click the PuTTY icon. Let's double click the VM21RHEL system to log into it. We will log in as root. Then let's create a new user by using the relevant command. Let's now update the password for this user. Note that all the actions being performed by root are being recorded. Let's type the exit command and close the PuTTY session. We have now performed a set of actions as the root user on the Linux endpoint. Let us log into the Linux endpoint and check if these actions have been recorded. 
Let's click the computer icon and navigate to the relevant location where the kbl.audit log file is stored. The kbl.audit file stores all the actions performed by the root user. To open the command line utility, click Applications. Then select Accessories and finally select Terminal. We now need to use the SE Audit utility which is located in the following location. To view the list of sessions recorded by CA Control Minder, type the following command and press Enter. Did you notice that each session has a unique ID? Since we need to view the recording of Ruth's latest session, let's focus on session 13582. You can use the following command to replay the entire session and stimulate command entry and feedback. You will now see all the actions that were performed by Root. I'm sure you now understand how you can use the session logging feature in CEA Control Minder.